Hello, welcome to this next video tutorial for DT Register 2.7 configuration. As you've most likely seen, we have multiple videos on configuration as there are so many different pieces to it here. Uh, they've been broken up into multiple videos. Uh, this is based on version 2.7.0 and uh, in this video we're going to start with the View Registrants tab. You can see I'm already in Components, DT Register, Configuration. So already there in the back end and then on the View Registrants tab. Uh, what you see here is uh, when I'm on the list of events, I have uh, an optional Attendees button. And this Attendees button will show me a list of all the people that are registered for this event. And what shows in this list is configured by you and that's done right here. Uh, there is a message that you can display above that event. Um, then you have the option to mark here if you're going to show the username, uh, show the date that they registered. Um, you have a access level to who is able to view this list, uh, whether it's public or private. If you mark private, they just have to be logged into your website to see it. Uh, show register avatar. Uh, that will pull from Community Builder or Job Social. Make sure you do not mark it to, to show the avatar if you're not syncing with Community Builder or Job Social. Um, maximum avatar size will uh, restrict the display of the avatar. Um, link to the registrant's profile. Uh, you can have it to where their name and username is automatically a link that will go to their profile and then show expansion for group members uh, if you turn that on that will show a, a little icon next to next to the, the the name where you can click it to expand and see all the members within that within that group registration uh, as far as any other fields that are shown on the list of attendees that is configured in uh, the fields area each field has a, a setting where you can mark if it's included in the attendees list or not. And you can see more about that uh, in our fields video tutorials. All right, let's jump to the user panel tab. The user panel is where a, a user can view their own registration history um, and see data similar to what you have here uh, with the ability to edit, uh, cancel, make additional payments, uh, see if they have an amount due, uh, things of that nature. Uh, there's a separate video that goes into more detail on the user panel, uh, but for now here are the places where you can set that up. There is a message that you can configure to show above the user panel list. And then all the columns that you saw as far as the edit column, the amount, uh, payments, uh, status, so forth, those six columns can be hidden. So so for example, say you never offer the option to cancel registrations, you can just hide that column and then you won't have a blank column with no cancel buttons in it. Um, so you can do the show or hide on all those columns. Then you have three emails here to configure. Uh, these emails do not need to be enabled. Uh, they will be sent automatically if these functionalities take place. Um, so if somebody cancels their registration they will get uh, this email so you configure the email on the subject you have all the same email tags that have been discussed uh, previously in the and the other video tutorial about the uh, thank you emails and so forth all those same tags are usable here from the user panel um, then you have the the change email so if somebody makes any change to their existing registration, once that is submitted, uh, this email will be sent uh, that, will, that will confirm that their change was accepted. Then you have the payment email. So if the user comes and they make any additional payment towards any of their records, uh, they will get this confirmation email uh, saying whatever you configure it uh, to say. And of course, each one has the subject as well. All right, we will jump over to the barcode tab. Profile sync tab was already mentioned in one of the other videos. Uh, barcode tab, this is an optional thing where you can 
have a barcode image created for every record. Uh, if you enable this, then that will happen. The barcode will be created according to the parameters you set here and will be stored inside of the Core Joomla Images folder. There is a DT register folder that is created on install. Within that, there are some other folders that store images for various parts of DT register. Um, inside that folder, there will be a barcodes folder that stores all of your barcode images for each record. Then that barcode can be displayed in various places uh, and emails. Uh, but here you can set up what kind of barcode you want to be created. There are uh, some, uh, some standard types of barcode here, so you can pick the one needed for whatever you're using to scan them. Uh, and then you have some options for if it's a PNG or a JPEG, uh, the, the DPI option for the image, basically a quality setting, um, the barcode thickness, resolution, uh, rotation, and then the, the font size and the font. Uh, the barcode is built off of the confirmation number for each record. So that will be displayed with the barcode. And so here you can say what size of font will that be displayed in. And of course you have some tool tips here to help you out with what each of these options are. And so that covers the uh, uh, these tabs that we wanted to look at in this video. And if you have any other questions, uh, let us know. And of course, make sure you watch the other configuration videos to make sure you've covered all the tabs and know how to get things set up according to your needs. Once you're done, hit save and you'll be all set. Thanks.